shaking world it's your boy lucky and i'm dropping another video and today we're gonna be talking about bootsy badass straight out of baton rouge louisiana and you know he been on the breakfast club lately because he been in lots of controversy he been talking about the gay community people trying to turn the kids gay you know uh, the straight community how we don't have a voice all types of shit and he really been offending people and some people been rooting them on Oh, Bootsy. So it's been a mixed review. Social media been getting at him. He got his IG shut down. All types of shit. So when he got to the Breakfast Club, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy, and DJ Envy was kind of grilling him. Like at first, I said, is he gonna get on here and apologize? I said, man, I hope Bootsy do not go on there and say, I'm sorry if I offended the gay community or I offended this person, I offended that person. I was hoping he'd stand his ground. And that's what that young man did. He went on there and stood his ground. Now, Charlemagne was shooting at him like, hey, look, y'all talk about killing, selling drugs, shooting up bang, bang all the time in your rhymes. And how you going to judge Lil Nas X for being gay or doing flamboyant things or saying things? And I got both of their perspectives, but I'm glad Boosie held his ground and didn't say, I'm sorry to the community, forgive me and all that shit. Because fuck all that. Because I ain't into that. Say what you say and stand on what you stand on. Period. Point blank period. So he went on there and he was saying like, oh, nah, I'm protecting my kids. We need to protect the kids. He don't need to go on stage talking about he going to get naked and all this type of shit. Hell nah, I beat his ass. I beat anybody ass. He made it clear on there. That he didn't hate the gay community. He said this assistant was gay. And they had this dude, this transvestite that was on there. He was like, I'm a big Bootsy fan. He sat down and he got involved with the in uh, interview. I said, damn, the Breakfast Club is really mixing it up. They was really trying to start some drama. I was hoping like no Birdman moment didn't happen. Like he flip out with some shit like that. But he did. He kept his cool. He did the right thing. I think he handled it in the best way he knows how to handle it. Because most people would have lost their temper or not showed up or walked out just because people don't agree with you. That's the thing about them damn celebrities too. If you don't agree with every little thing they say, they get offended. They don't want to do it no more. So I understand exactly why he handled it the way he did. So I think he did the right thing. I think they kind of grilled him a little bit too hard trying to see their perspective. But I get what Angela Yee was saying. She was saying she got love for everybody. But that's like the typical thing to say nowadays. It's like nobody has a true opinion. It's just, I'm going to agree with the crowd. If the crowd say this, I'm going to go with the crowd. It's all this apologizing. All this, I'm not trying to offend this. Sorry to this community. I'm like, damn, do anybody have an opinion and stand on it nowadays? And that's what Bo uh, Bootsy was doing. He went on there and said he was going to protect his kids. They even asked him, well, what if your daughter fall in love with another woman and want to be a lesbian and get married? He said, I support it, but if they get married, I won't show up to the marriage. I won't show up to this. I won't do this. And you got to think about it. This man is from Louisiana. You know how many people down there in Louisiana feel like that? It's a lot of people in like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, states like that. They don't feel free-spirited like other places in the United States and Europe and places like that. They have strict beliefs when it comes to a man-on-man -man relationship or a woman-on-woman -woman relationship. So I understand it. So I said, man, he's standing on his ground. He said a whole bunch of people that's like 40s, 50s, and 60s was coming up to him like, we glad you're speaking up. We glad you're doing this. I said, yeah, I can imagine that. Seriously, because these last like 25 years is when the whole you know, openly gay thing and marriage thing started to happen. Now, it's always been there. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying it hasn't been there. It's just been more free-spirited more out in the open. They got like gay characters in TV shows now. You got the little Nas X, you know, he kissed another man on stage. I was surprised, I saw it, just like y'all was watching it. I don't want my kids to see things like that. I won't want my kids to be influenced by things like that. You don't want them to be heavily influenced. 
Now, I'm not going to act like as a kid, I didn't sneak it to the damn HBO and see soft porn and stuff like that to get to understand a uh, man and a woman chemistry. But at the same time, I wasn't exposed to a whole bunch of man on man sex, women on women sex. It wasn't like that. You know, I got raised old school by older parents. So my upbringing was different than probably the average person being raised today. But I am glad Bootsy stood his ground because me, I don't think all that should be on TV. I think it should be censored. Just like they don't have all out sex on TV, I don't think they should have man on man or woman on woman in a kids friendly type of show. It's getting pushed. The agenda is getting pushed too much in people's face. It's way too much nowadays. Like, they got the PG-13, the rated R and stuff like that. They been had that. But now they got the gay and the PG-13. They got the kid-friendly shows. They got it all in our face. Every time you turn around, and then you know these kids got social media. It's like as soon as they get a phone in their hand, and go to scrolling, boom, it's right there in their face. So you can't completely hide it like you could 20, 30, 40 years ago. So it's more like you got to talk to your kids now. You got to do things like that and let people know what it is and what it's not going to be. So I was glad to see the interview. It was a good interview. Don't get it twisted. But when they sat down, the trans man down there to talk to Boosie. I said, man, I hope Boosie keep his cool. I hope he don't flip out. I'm like, nah, I don't want to talk. Nah, uh-uh. Uh. But he didn't. He held his own and did what he had to do. He didn't blow up. He did. He kept his calm, but he stood his ground. Some people was acting like it didn't make sense what he was saying. But you got to think about it. He got his way of thinking. He got the Southern tradition in him. And he was up there making up some southern words just like them people do in Louisiana and Alabama and places like that. But he still got his point across. He really did. Now, comment on the session below. What do you think about that interview? What do you think about the things that Bootsy was saying? What do you think the things I was saying about how it's too much in your face? It's too blue, blam, blam, blam all out there. It really is to me. Like, if you gay, you gay. Whatever. Whatever you do in your bedroom is your damn business. I really can care less. But when it's too much in your face and it becomes an influence, that's when I have issues with it. Even with man and woman, it's lying. Stuff that you shouldn't do when it involves kids or very young, impressionable teenagers. You should watch yourself with some of the things you do and say. That's just the protocol of life, right? So let me know. It's your boy Lucky. Over and out.